Hi, hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to go over a couple of examples of how I do branch maintenance on these teeny tiny little junipers. All right, well, let's start with this one. Um, this one had this really nice cascading branch and a, and a much bigger crown on it for a while. And then I left some wire on too long and this whole part ended up getting um, separated from the lifeline right up in here. And consequently, the, the top that is now ginned here, as well as this branch have been, uh, have been killed uh, by my wiring neglect. So I'm gonna actually, you know, the thing, so I have no hesitation in cutting this off because I know that even though uh, it doesn't look completely dead yet, that it actually is already completely dead. And meanwhile, I've gone from what was a much bigger crown to something that is starting to look a lot smaller. And I'm basically gonna regrow the entire crown from this little tuft. And while this might be a significant setback in a larger tree, losing the majority of your crown and the, the descending key branch on this side, for Amame, the, the sort of renewal process leads to changes in the design of the tree on a regular basis because you just cannot maintain these tiny little branches this short over time. So let me set this aside for a second and come to this one. Now this one is the same batch uh, but it was left to grow a little bit longer in a larger container before I started sort of creating the bonsai out of it so to speak. And uh, it's filled out kind of nicely since the last time that I worked on it but one of the things that I don't like about it is that it has these branches on the back that are a little bit too long. And it also has a branch back here that's been damaged and appears to be uh, dead at this point as well. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of editing here. And basically it's the same type of thing that I'm doing where I'm taking long branches and removing them in favor of shorter branches. And with Mame, that is probably the key to maintaining a really compact silhouette on these junipers. You can't just go in and cut back the tips and expect that the tree is going to maintain its health and vigor. And so what we're looking to do is basically remove long branches in favor of, in favor of creating shorter branches. So there's a, a strong shoot coming out this side, which has developed from a cut point from the last time that I cut this back and I don't want any strong shoots so I'm actually going to remove almost the entirety of that. The same as with larger trees I will come in and cut off things that are kind of dangling or in the way um, just so that you get a clear view of the trunk. So I'm going to cut off a few of these little dangling bits and I'm down to a little the scale on this is is challenging a little bit because you're it's it's almost like at this size with Kishu juniper it's almost like working with a like a black pine tree at shohin size even though you can do it there starts to become a, a real challenge just with the inherent quality of the the growth that you that you have to utilize in order to create your your crown so just a little bit of a little bit of thinning there. This one is still too long. All right. And for the back, what I want to do is I want to reduce this significantly. So this is a nice strong branch, but when I look at this tree from the front, uh, basically this gin is right in the front. When I look at this tree from the front, it's just sort of messing up the silhouette of the tree. I would rather have a little bit more of a clean triangle on the tree on the, as the top of the tree. And so 
I'm not gonna cut this whole thing off quite yet, but it's definitely looking like I'm headed that direction. The fantastic thing is that last time I worked on this, I wired these branches down and now the tree is creating very tight little short buds at the base. So I've basically primed the tree to start creating the replacements that I might need for these as these continue to get longer and longer. So I'll start by taking off the parts that I know I don't want. And when you're working with this at this kind of scale, it, it can be challenging to use your fingers for certain operations. So I've learned to use these small wire cutters as pliers or also just using pliers rather than fingertips to, uh, to work on the material. And I have to say, I find working on Mame to be really uh, fun because it doesn't take, you can cut off just like one of these little fronds, needles, I guess I should say, and, uh, and dramatically change the character of the tree. So looking at this again from the front, um, there's just a little bit of muddiness going on in the back. And so I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate this branch back here to give a little bit more clarity to the outline of the tree. All right, I think that kind of clarifies it a little bit and um, I'll, uh, I'll add a photo of this taken from the, the front and finish cleaning up any stray bits that show up because I was shooting the photo. But you get the idea basically that Mommy is a, a basically an exercise in minimalism. So if I can create this silhouette with fewer branches, I absolutely want to do that and it'll just clean up the, the look of the tree. All right, so back to this one. The I'm gonna keep this tuft here. I'm gonna do some gin work uh, on this part, which I think is already starting to dry out. So I wanna get the bark off there. It'll be much more difficult later. And then I'm gonna see if I can put a couple of tiny little pieces of wire on some of these guys in order to move them around a little bit and enhance the, the aesthetic.
probably about as good as I'm going to get this for now. The top will fill in here a little bit and uh, hopefully I'll get a few more sprouts there to make that top like that. And then I can continue to grow out this low branch back here to come down into this section where that other branch was that died. And this may end up being killed off. Well, everything on this side may end up being killed off in favor of gin later, but for now, it's a good way to keep the, uh, the tree healthily growing. So we'll just leave it like that. If you like this video, check out a couple of my other videos that, where I go through some of the things that I do to keep my mom a healthy and happy. And uh, like and subscribe, uh, especially the subscriptions that are fantastic so you can be the first to see new videos that we put out. Thanks everyone. Thank you.